Ayo dong. Hello. Welcome back with me. I think this is a uh, Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, so it's been three days I'm staying here after coming back from Indonesia to KL. First thing first place here is so tiny but I'm grateful to have a place to stay. I'm just still not get used to live here because cause I was stay in Indonesia for almost two months so it's near that I have a lifestyle that in Indonesia that I really used to and I'm not get to use stay here. Since I'm in Indonesia especially during the Chinese New Year I'm surrounded with a lot of people so when I'm coming back to KL again I tend to be more have um, I want to have more time alone with myself so for the past two days when the Sunday I'm coming from Indonesia to KL was uh, on that day where I was really tired so I don't think I got record something anything and for the Monday is first day of my class and because I'm not really get used to with lifestyle because I've on the school semester break since end of November until like now so like basically almost more than two months I'm not uh, attending in the uni so like okay I'm still not get used to so like I don't feel like wanna do any filming but today um, I just decided to go out from my room so um, I buy grocery at Maidin with my sister. This is my first time I'm going to the Maidin. It's a supermarket, like a wholesale supermarket. And we spend like 243 ringgit for the grocery today. Sure, it's a lot. Yeah, buy a lot of stuff. And I think because two of us sharing together, so like, still okay lah. I don't feel really like wants to go out because I'm pretty tired. Or maybe I'm unmotivated. Because lately I've been touched a lot of I mean my screen time towards my gadget is highly so increasing so like, I try my best not to get so addicted with those device and trying to um have a positive mindset more in the future. Yep. You guys you guys curious what book that I read actually is this one. Choose the life you want. My friend is taking picture for her ama. So cute. <laughs>
berapa? Hmm? Level berapa? Lima. Tiga pedas. Hello. So, I just buy this while I remove my makeup. So, new while I already buy this. Pino Hemas. I heard it's very really famous. And also this one. Because uh, I buy it for my sister because my sister, every time she's sweating, she got a very unpleasant smell. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, what I've been doing today, usually just resting. I was planning to study, but turns out my test was postponed to Tuesday. So, instead, I'm gonna study on Monday, which is tomorrow. What did I do? I spent my time. Most of the time, he's scrolling my phone, which is just very bad, but I try my best to read some books. Here's the book that I've been reading now. Choose the life you want. I'm almost done with this book because I think one 100 page already, then I'm done with this book. And I want to continue to read a lot of books. So yeah, I think the knowledge that I gained from this book is unbeatable. It slowly gains my confidence back as well because lately I literally have no motivation to film any content. I don't know why. I'm still working through it. If I could find any some ideas because I barely go outside as well. Yeah. That's all for me that I, what I did today and I'm gonna sleep earlier probably because tomorrow I have morning class. And I have to study tomorrow for the Tuesday test. Hello. Okay, turns out I never talk about this, but I'm editing this video right now. I just want to say there are some moments in my life when I feel uh, unmotivated and. I feel like the things that I'm doing now doesn't bring me joy, doesn't bring me pleasure. So I stopped doing from it. It's according to the psychology, which I'm currently reading this book, it's called Anhedonia. So it different it's different from procrastinate, but I think somehow I been on the stage where I procrastinate and it leads to the anhedonia as well. I don't know if I correctly talk, uh, spell it very well. So, I think on 18, I'm going back from Indonesia to Malaysia. Then, basically that one week, I know I feel unmotivated. I know something is wrong with me. I feel so low. I don't have any appetite to eat anything. So, I decided to get a uh, counselling for my mental health on Saturday with the Satu Percent. Okay, this is not sponsored. It's a, a truly a pure testimonial for me. Taking care of mental health, it's really, really a very good things to do. I used to ignore them. Back then, I used to ignore my mental health. Just like put it inside a cat bag like that, but I never go truly observative. So I made a consultation, counseling with her. For one hour and these the notes they showed me that um, her notes for me so basically don't be so hard on yourself make a realistic goals because failure is very normal and when it comes to overthinking like like these birds <laughs> all of these birds it can fly but don't let them make a nest on your head it seems like we, when we overthinking like we cannot draw what are the thoughts coming into our mind but we can choose which one to focus on so don't let those bad things influence you because like I said I always often say this to myself thoughts are not the facts so don't let those mind make a nest on your head I know sometimes we overthink something and then deep down, deep down, deep down, deep down we, we drown into the sea that she said to me that try to learn more about things see things more objective i do feel my patients sometimes get me bored so like she said it's very normal yeah i think that's how i started to gain back to the things that i really enjoy too and 
I also carry read this book. Uh, Why nobody has told me this before, but I'm just reading like quarter of this book. But so far, this book also teach me that I need to have a routine. You need you need to have a routine. Stick with that. I know this routine cannot be happen like in a one night like that. It slowly need to build up. So what did I do for the recent routine? It was I go to the workout. Uh, but I make a realistic workout, okay, guys. I don't just like simply just do forty minutes workout like that. No, I stand for like ten minutes and then the next day twenty minutes. So in order to make my workout interesting, right? I do a different kind of workout, dumbbell workout or like mat workout. Recently, I try Pilates and La Focus as well. I think this one can be slowly be a routine for me, and I love it when I move my body, when I get enough of sleep. When I'm consuming mentally and physically a very good thing, which I be mindful for, for what I'm eating, and the the digital thing that I consume here, it's also very important. I only watch things that has adding value to my life, so I barely watch any negative things, and go sip something like that in my life. And also, I try to limit myself in my personal Instagram, which I tend to be. More private, super private now, in order to protect my my peace. I know it's get lonely. I'm not kidding, guys. This the last final year of my semester. I think it's the most loneliest semester I ever been in this uni. Legit, I felt so lonely. But then it's come into price that I have the peace. So it means I have more silence. I have more of bunch of time to focus within myself. Which is this is good. So try to see that things with the good, the positive mindset, like instead of like, why I get so lonely, why I get so lonely, why I get so lonely, and something like that. No one's playing with me. But actually, you can spend more time to invest getting to know yourself, know what you want, instead of like continuing going out with people to be a people pleasing something like that. You learn more about yourself when you're being alone actually. But it doesn't mean I told you that you have to be alone every time. You can you need to have the balance in your life. Spend some time with your family, with your quality loves, but having some time with yourself to reflect what you're doing at the end of the day. I'm so grateful for everything that has happened to me now. I've gone through down, very down stage, and into up now. Going back on track again. I feel my life's motivated again. I have things to do. I, I was waking up in the morning, exciting that I'm going to accomplish this task, this task, this task, this task every day. Yeah, I think life has not been smoothly. But I try always keep it up, getting back on track. I know it's hard, but discipline is the key. Being lazy or being bored at our some phase of life, it's normal. But don't let it consume you for too long. It's okay to take a rest for a while, okay? But you still need to have the discipline to getting back on track. Slowly, you need to build up slowly. I know something you will have down there, but you can do it, okay? I can do it, so you mean you can do it as well, okay? So yeah. Taking care of yourself. Remember of that, okay? Whether you are in a relationship or not, taking care of yourself. That's the most important thing, because the love that you give to yourself is a reflection of the love that you give to others. Say, I'm saying this with the experience, okay? Don't don't let your lifestyle that you enjoy shift away just because of someone you wanna please. Have a self respect for for yourself, okay? Your mind has to be strong than your heart. For me, my mind has to be strong for my heart. No matter how much you care for that person, if that person doesn't treat you very well, naga to say oh, just get out, okay? Staying on that thing, staying on a relationship doesn't make you gonna grow. I know changing is the most scary thing. Trust me, when I was about to change my lifestyle from the bad habit into the new one, it's very hard. I have a severe bad things happen to me in a not good way. How do I put this? But yeah, stick to the routine that makes you enjoy, suitable with your lifestyle, suitable with your your diet. Stick with it. You will find someone that surely one day you can find someone that will match into your lifestyle. But if you don't have anyone, that's okay. That's okay. Being different is okay. Back to the first topic again. I know changing is scary, but the changing will brings you a lot of new experience, 
the growth of your good side that you've never seen before so indeed really staying out from your comfort zone is the best thing happened for yourself to grow you will see another different side of yourself like oh my god i can do this that's what happened to me i believe you can do it too so yeah that's i want to say as a closing for this video bye bye <laughs>